Welcome to 40 Days of Prayer, is Handiwork Ephesians 2 verse 10. Week 3, Day 7. Some Bible translations use the word handiwork while others use masterpiece for the very same context. When I think about the word masterpiece, the first thing that comes to my mind is a jewelry store that displays many beautiful items. There are always some masterpieces of jewelry that are not on regular display but kept in a safe and secure glass box and positioned in a place that makes them visible to everyone who comes to the store. What makes these pieces of jewelry so special? Obviously, they are more expensive and beautiful. The reason they look so beautiful is because the goldsmith took so much time and effort to craft them into a beautiful masterpiece. Each one has to go through a vigorous process to get to the place of perfection. Our Heavenly Father sees you and me the same way. He does not see our mess, but the beautiful masterpiece that He can make us through Christ Jesus. In the same way that a medal goes through rigorous process to become a masterpiece, our salvation through Jesus Christ initiates the process of becoming a masterpiece in God's hand. Our salvation through Jesus cleanses us from all impurities and sins. As we begin to grow in our personal relationship with Jesus, He sanctifies us and empowers us for His service and holy living. He will begin to unfold His plans in our lives so that He can fulfill His purpose through us for His glory. We are His handiwork. Reflection Prayer Dear Heavenly Father, thank You for creating us for Your purpose and glory. Help us to submit to You and walk according to Your direction so that You can lead us into the wonderful plans that You have already created for us. You are the potter, and we are the clay. Break us, mold us, and shape us to be beautiful and useful vessels in Your hands for Your kingdom work. Help us to have the confidence and assurance that we are your handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works for your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. By Isaac Charles Isaac serves as the pastor and church planner at Jubilee Intercultural Alliance Church in Columbus, Ohio, and he and his family are from India. He recently received his ordination with the Ohio Valley District. He has served in church ministries at the CNMA National Office in Reynoldsburg since September 2021. He is married to his wife, Lena, and they have two boys, Brayden and Brian. Let's go deeper. Title, Living is God's Handiwork. 1. God's Creation. Summary. We are God's masterpiece, intricately crafted by Him in Christ Jesus. He designed us with purpose and intentionality, shaping us for good works. 2. In Christ Jesus. In Summary. Through our faith in Christ Jesus, we are not only created but also empowered to fulfill the good works God has prepared for us. His grace enables us to live out our purpose. 3. Doing Good Works In summary, God has ordained specific good works for each of us to accomplish, serving as instruments of His love and mercy in the world. These actions reflect His character and bring glory to His name. 4. Prepared in Advance Summary Even before we were born, God had already planned and prepared the good works He desires us to walk in. His divine foresight ensures that we walk in His will and fulfill our purpose. 5. Living out God's plan Summary As we embrace our identity as God's handiwork and follow His guidance, we step into the fulfillment of His purpose for our lives. Each action we take in alignment with His will brings fulfillment and joy. In summary, Ephesians 2 verse 10 emphasizes that believers are God's masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus for the purpose of doing good works that He has predestined for them. This verse underscores the divine intentionality behind each individual's existence and the importance of living a life aligned with God's plan for righteousness and service to others. Tomorrow's Daily Devotion, Week 4 Worship Now